hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is solomon jagwe and i'm back with another highlight uh, motion capture highlight and i try to do a, this series to highlight the different tools that i'm using in my effort to tell my animated stories short films and especially the adventures of Unkoza and nancha and i you know like many others i've been to the excellence website multiple times and looked at the, this video this amazing actor you know using this uh, inertia based suit walking around dancing effortlessly and i was like oh my gosh how did they get this data to be so clean and so nice and you know I've, you know when you look at something and you feel like it's out of your league and you can only wish <laughs> that's what i felt with the xn suit because i know the suit is about uh, twelve thousand dollars and the suit that i'm using right now is the uh, perception neuron uh, pro and perception neuron 2.0 and those ones are the, the range is more like indie for us indie filmmakers uh and then on the higher end of course is the excel suit uh that uh, professionals use in hollywood and other places and it's very 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 powerful and i can i mean from this video you can see how good the data is okay and uh i mean the reason i again i do this series of videos that cover motion capture is for so that i can share with you guys on as we are on this journey to tell our stories you know what op what possibilities are there you know i have been i've been sharing a, a number of other videos to you know, show the process that i'm going through to create the adventures of unkoza and nancha and there's this uh, short film that we created together with my team at soul studios uh, which won a couple of awards and we use motion capture to create that and i think for me i feel like motion capture is a, a good starting point when you you have a dream and you want to bring it to life yes and so that's what i did i didn't have a lot of money uh, a number of my team members were actually volunteering when we first started this and so it was through hard work and connections and developing relationships that we're able to bring this to life but um, i can tell you definitely that without motion capture it would have been difficult for us to finish this short film in the period of time that it took us and so that's why i talk about motion capture and that's why i'm always looking out on on the landscape in our industry to see what motion capture suits are available and so to back back up a little bit i reached out uh to faceware and they were so kind enough to uh offer <laughs> an opportunity to work with uh faceware and excellence together with manners and so i received the motion capture suit and i was excited i'll link uh the video below the link of the video that i did the unboxing so you can take a look at it and and uh share in the excitement i was so excited to receive this suit because i was like this is now possible because it was right here and i could i could actually touch it and so i was excited and so when i talked to uh faceware and Excense as well as manners uh they asked me what how are you gonna use the suit and i said i want to take our character from the adventures of Nkoza, Nkoza the adventures of Nkoza and nancha this is this is uh Annie Tandra, princess Annie Tandra. she's the best friend of uh, Nkoza and nancha and they they live in the diaspora but then because anancha go back to africa so they are sharing stories in between and i wanted to capture i do a, an episode of this character and another character called mechanica who is the apprentice of, of grandpa and so when i shared with them my goal and i shared with them uh, the adventures of Nkoza and how i intend to use it and so i was able to get the suit so today I'm sorry to sound long-winded, but I felt like I needed to tell the backstory of how this came to be. Today, I was uh, I have some mock-up data that I, I've, I've managed to capture here, and this was the first time for me to uh, use the Excel suit. And in this, I, I'm, I'm going to play it back. This data that you're looking at is hd processed because the way it works with xsense is at first you do the shoot you know you, you do the motion capture session and then it, you load the file again 
in it HD processes and you can do uh, regular processing and or HD processing so HD processing does an incredible job it takes a little bit longer but that's how you're able to get this kind of data that is so clean look at that you know the feet are very stable uh, the character is and I'm gonna loop it so you can see play it again and I was blown away you know because now I see why people spend you know there's twelve thousand dollars to buy this suit it's incredibly incredibly stable the data is clean and I see that they uh, this uh, actor that's on the website now I can see for myself what they were talking about because he's the character going up and down that is me by the way <laughs> wearing the motion capture suit and this is me looking very 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 happy and excited um, I, I was on cloud nine and I'm still on cloud nine so that is the result of what I was able to capture and now let's go to uh, this is a uh, icon you know so that's the character that I was telling you about so here I showed you the character on our webs on our, the Nkoza Nancha Facebook page that was uh, the 3d model I did we did and we it came from it went from uh, concept art to 3d and then finally to rigged and ready for animation so I, I prepared this this character was uh, modeled and animate and rigged in Maya and I brought it into uh, iClone to prepare it for facial animation and for motion capture and so what I want to show today is this data the extens data on this character because ultimately that's what I wanted to show the extens and face wear team uh, together with Manas the gloves the Manas gloves haven't arrived yet but when they do I'll be able to show the full body system okay so let's see what this data looks like in iClone uh, first I have and that's, I think this is I'm combining a mini tutorial as well as a highlight so you simply have to go to network streamer and make sure you have the correct IP address the correct IP address and then load your character make sure the character is selected and then go to your plugins and load motion live and bring up motion live and then once motion live is loaded put in the same IP address the IP address has to come from iClone not the other way around so you select what you have here and then paste it in the host right here and the same same together with the the, the port port number sorry so if it's if it's connected properly if I click on Xsense here it's going to turn green and over here in a Xsense in MVN Animate Pro 2020 that's what I'm using uh, make sure it's looped and it's playing back before you, you start the streaming and now I can select for the body and instead of perception neuron I'm going to do Xsense uh, let's move this over here and actually I can close this now and let's go back so the Xsense suit is connected so was if I were wearing the suit right now whatever I I do the character will be doing but I wanted to show you the data that has been uh, HD processed how nice it looks so here's the character and actually this is the first time I tried to do this in real time so that you could get a, a get a chance to see what the data looks like and if there's even any cleaning that needs to be done so the guys this is the first time that i'm actually experiencing this data in the mvn system going on to the anitandra character from the adventures of Unkoza anancha so let's go ahead and uh, press preview and press the space bar so there's the character there's anitandra there she is she's punching super fast like that Ah, uh, look at that there is Anitandra kicking and then now let's see if she goes up the steps she's gonna turn around there we go Anitandra, Anitandra is going up the steps how cool is that guys how cool is that look at that the data looks stable the character looks hi Anitandra <laughs> <laughs> so that was the session that I did and this is the data that is HD processed now there are some like right now if you see the hands were kind of interacting but that's because of the the way my rig is set up I can just easily after I record I can go in and uh, fix the hands and just pull them apart a little bit but clearly the data looks very good and stable that's going up and down the steps and something that I noticed by the way 
when you're wearing the uh, MVN suit, when you go up and down the steps in the viewport, you don't see the character going up the steps. That data is being recorded behind the scenes. So when it does the HD processing and you have to make sure it's set to multi-level uh, in the processing, this is the processing part right here. Make sure it's set to multi-level so that it can capture and include the data that you see going up and down the steps. But needless to say, I am very, very excited to see that uh, Anitandra is actually running up and down. The data is stable and the character is looking very good. And to me, this, this gets me uh, about 80% of the way to a finished animation. The rest is just clean up, lining things up and making sure that maybe if there's a prop in, in, involved, that the character is actually, the, the props are working properly. But this is MVN suit data. My session that I recorded live, my first experience right now streaming into iClone and using Anitandra from the Adventures of Nkoza and Nancha li uh, live in iClone. So I hope this is helpful, guys. And I think I, I, I think this is a great solution. So when you get to a point where your dream has grown and you have enough funding, uh, I think the MVN suit is a, a great uh, solution to, to to include in your workflow. Uh, right now, of course, as an indie developer, I personally don't even have $12,000 to put onto this suit. But I know once I get funded, I, I have an idea of what I can use in my workflow. And that's how you grow. You can start off with a perception neuron suit and do what you can to grow your idea and then when you're ready for something uh, more e expensive and most uh, i guess more expensive but more robust uh the mvn suit is a good good solution guys and as you can see the data looks great <laughs> thank you so much faceware thank you so much Xsense. this is a a, a great 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 uh solution and uh, i can't thank you enough i'm gonna do some more testing i'll share the process guys so that you have a, you, you can see the final result and i also do some uh testing with the uh, sci-fi scenes you know from uh, a concept idea that i have but as you can see nancha look uh, anitandra looks great and i'm also working on Nkoza and nancha the new versions of Nkoza and nancha and so that i can share them with you and the grandfather so you'll be able to see the motion capture file in here again thank you so much guys for uh hanging in there with me while we take this journey and to tell our stories i encourage you to never give up on your dream and build relationships because sometimes uh we look for money and the money is great, but sometimes the opportunities come through building relationships. And I think this is an, a good example of building a relationship like what I've done with the uh, Accents, Faceware and uh, Manas, that I'm able to actually try something out like this. And uh, I'll continue to share my journey. I encourage you to spend time working on your dream. Don't let a day go by without you building on that dream and doing something. I'm doing it and I hope we can do it together and share the journey together. So thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're alerted when I post a new video. And uh, do please cl click like on the video and share with me your thoughts. Uh, if you already have the Excel suit, please let me know what your experience is like. Thank you so much and see you next time. Dare to dream big.